Yeah, I think it's exciting. It's exciting to have the players back in. Obviously, we've got some new faces as well, some old faces, and you know, we've set our ambitions and goals for the season. And today starts where we want, where we want to go. It, it kicks off. Well, I haven't talked to you since the extension. Congratulations. Uh, what was it important for you to uh, make sure you're here for for the long term to kind of finish, you know keep going with what you started? Yeah, I think it was massively important because I think we're building something very special here. Um, I want to stay at the helm. I want to help build this club. Um, obviously, there was rumours linking me with other jobs as well. That wasn't helping my recruitment. It wasn't helping the club. So it was important we got the, the contract done. Um, I'm committed to the club. The club's committed to me. Um, and I want the players to know that I'm here for the long haul and that I'm invested in them too. Uh, five midfielders, two non-roster invitees. Safe to assume that a couple of them might have a real shot at making the club? Yeah, I think obviously we're looking to expand our squad. We're looking to make sure that we've got depth in all areas. And uh, I think bringing players in, seeing them during pre-season is a big part of that. The uh, experience in the playoffs last year, getting as far as you did, um, guess still kind of have that sour taste in your mouth? Do you use that as fuel or do you try to flush that and say we're starting fresh here? I think it's a learning. I don't use it as pure. I use it as learning. We've done it twice now, two semi-finals in two years, which is an incredible achievement for an expansion team. We're in the third year now. We want to make sure that we go one better. I think the league title is the hardest thing to win, and we won that last year. We want to go one more. We want to be competitive in all areas and want to try and win them both. How do you approach that as a manager, knowing that the formula is working because you guys have had the success for the first two years, but you still need to take that next step to get to that league title? You have to evolve. You have to make sure that you're bringing people in the building that know how to win. You have to make sure that you're learning from previous years, which we've done, uh, and, and improve your players. You know, it's about coaching our players, developing our players, improving our game model, and making sure that we can go to those games and, and get results. Um, have you learned anything in yourself as a manager over the time, and like how you evolved, maybe in the way you're decision making or yeah, in the tactics? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I always reflect. I think I could have made decisions earlier in the semi-final and made changes quicker. Um, and I'll take all of those lessons and those learnings and I'll make sure that I trust my gut a little bit more because my gut has got me this far and make sure that I make decisions in the moment. What uh, do you think? Uh, can we talk about some of those new acquisitions, Savannah McCaskill, Elise Bennett? What are, what are they going to bring to this style of play? I think they're key signings for us. You know, I think Elise has shown both at Kansas and at Seattle what she's capable of. You know, she's got pace, she's got power. You know, she's. She's a bright person as well to bring into our environment. She's a huge character. I think we need a little bit of that. And Savannah was always the person we were worried most about when we played Angel City. Her ability to pick up spaces between lines, to drive the game forward, uh, to make things happen. She's smart when it comes to football. Um, I'm excited to work with her. I'm excited to see what she brings to the team. And uh, Sierra Engie was listed as a centre back today. I, I mean, as a defender. Is she going to be playing more as a centre back this season? We have been looking at her during the, the postseason as a centre back. Um, obviously, we lost Kaylee Real in the expansion draft. Sierra is so adaptable. The fact that she can play centre back, she can play six, she can play eight, it helps her. But we have focused on her as centre back so far. And could you talk a little bit about the Sierra Kapengi situation this off season? I mean, she was away from the team, back to the team, to Houston for a second. Could you speak a little bit on what was going through your mind during that time? Well, luckily, she never went to Houston because um, we made sure that she stayed here. It's important that you know we're in San Diego, we're in a hotbed of talent and we want the talent that's here to want to be here. So it's important we keep talent that's local in our team and keeping Sierra was a, a key part of that. You know, the fact that she's so adaptable, she's a great player, great person to have around. We never wanted to let her go, so we made sure it didn't happen. You look at the depth of the team, some roster spots are available. What do you hope to see during training camp? Competitiveness. I want every single player here to compete. You know, the message has been very clear. I want two players for every position because I think competition drives competition. We want people to be out here and, and fighting for a spot. Um, we want depth to our roster. We want, and also the ability to play different players, you know, and, and have slightly different styles to those players and bring them in when it's necessary. And signing the long-term contract, that, that allows you to, um, to the players know that you're going to be here for the long term. What is that, how does that help recruiting? It's important because when you're speaking to players and you're rumoured to be somewhere else or you're linked with another club, it's just it's very difficult to sign players based on that premise. So having the commitment from the club to me and me to the club, I think is important. People know that I'm going to be here. If they want to play for Wave and they want to play for me, they're more likely to come. If they don't want to play for me, then they're probably less likely to come. But hopefully that's not the case. I think we've done some good recruitment so far. We've got more coming in. Um, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to, to that when it happens. Um, and I think what we've shown in two years, we've been able to build quickly. Now it's about how we can sustain it and how we can evolve and how we can get even better. I guess you're getting back to this preseason effort, knowing that the priority is to get deep into the postseason. 
What are the foundations you're hoping to set right now at the beginning of the season? How we want to play, our identity as a team. Pre-season is about getting stronger, fitter, faster um, and evolving our game model and making sure that everybody has a clear understanding of who we are and how we want to play. And I think we are able to get some really good games during pre-season where we can try new things, we can look at different players, look at different partnerships and I'm excited to see where we land when we play Gotham on the 15th of March. Long-winded philosophical question. Uh, when you're putting together a team, you've got a great core, Kalen, Alex, Emily. When you're bringing new players in by draft, signing free agents, are you looking at pure talent, uh, how they mesh from their game perspective or how they mesh from their personality perspective? Everything. First of all, are you going to make us better? That's the first thing. Are these players going to come in and improve us as a team? Secondly, do they fit our style of play and the way we want to play? And importantly is the character piece. When they go in that locker room, are they going to bring more? You know, as a character, are they going to be what we want them to be? Obviously, we talk a lot about character and how people need to behave and the values that we hold. And we do a lot of research and background into those players. And I think we've done well so far. Can you speak a little bit about the NWSL schedule? You know, new broadcast deal. Um, that was a big topic last year. I was wondering if you could speak a little bit on what you think of it this year. I have mixed opinions. I think the broadcast deal is really important. I think being able to bring more visibility to the game, uh, bringing more money into the game is important in terms of resources. I thought we won last year when we actually had an end of season decision day and it was all based on one day. I was like, we progressed uh, and this year we've gone back across three days. So I don't particularly like that part of it. Um, it's managed in every other league in the world to have a decision day, yet we are going across three days. So that's the downside. The plus side, it's more visible. You know, it's going to be open to a lot more people. Uh, more people can watch, and obviously it's bringing much needed money into the game, which is, is huge. So, yeah, there are pluses. Can there be improvements? Yeah, absolutely, but that's a work in progress in this league.